that when I took the oath of office in 2013, which was renewed last month, Kenyans did also bestow on me two instruments of power. The first one was the Constitution, and the second was the sword, and I swore to use them to defend and protect Kenya, any form of aggression, internal and external. And that is why I have the responsibility of serving as your President and Commander-in-Chief of our Defense Forces, and this I will not fail it. Today, I serve notice to those treating our constitutional order with casual recklessness that the Constitution is the general will of all. No one, including myself, is above it. No matter who you are, you are subject to its authority. Anything outside the Constitution is a hostile intrusion. Whoever destroys property, whoever chooses senseless violence over constitutional order, all these are enemies of the Republic, and that is how they will be treated. In closing, fellow Kenyans, I wish to reiterate the point I made earlier. There will be a fifth, sixth, and even tenth president of Kenya, but there will not be a second, third, or fourth Kenya. Leaders come and go, but Kenya remains. Our duties are therefore clear. We must preserve that nationhood. We must achieve the freedom and prosperity that are ours by right. To tembe pamoja safari hii bega kwa bega. And I believe if we do so, we will have proved ourselves the rightful heirs of that nation that God has given us.